Welcome to the Only Mel Cruz Show, the podcast. I am the only Mel Cruz. Be sure to hit the like button, share, subscribe, replay gang, leave a comment. You know I want to hear from you. Copyright disclaimer regarding fair use is in full effect. The views and opinions expressed in this show, you guessed it, they're all mine. Let's go to work. Okay, okay, okay. Welcome to the Only Male Cruise Show, the podcast. I am the Only Male Cruise. Be sure to hit the like button, share, subscribe, replay gang. You know the deal. Leave a comment. You know I want to hear from you. All right, so today's episode, y'all. Trey Songs, my ass hurts. <laughs> Listen, y'all, I didn't make that up, all right? I'm telling you, I'm about to tell you what's tea. So, it's been reported, and this is a mystery person, okay? But I think that this person really is someone that has already been named in a case, all right? Um, And I'll share that with you in another episode. But, so far, this is an anonymous individual. Okay, and this happened back in 2016. So Media Takeout um, posted some images, some text messages, um, alleging that Trey Songs, um, well, the the woman is accusing him of rape, um, or or more specifically, sodomy. So the Media Takeout website has posted items from text messages alleging that R&B singer Trey Songs has been accused of rape. Now, judging by the text messages, the unnamed woman is someone that Trey Songs has known for some time and also had sex with in the past. And she's alleging that, that, that Trey Songs raped her uh, anally, all right? Now, Media Takeout also posted some hospital bills from this anonymous woman stating that she sought medical attention after the alleged incident. And Trey Song's response in the in the text messages indicate that he thought, hmm, you might be trying to set me up. Hmm. So let's take a look. Um, so evidently the woman was kicking it with Trey Song's. And after she left, uh, looks like Trey Song sent her a text message. Where are you at? And she said, headed home. And Song said, well, damn. And so the the anonymous girl says, I'm not okay with how aggressive and how you forced yourself in me. My anus hurts so bad. Mm. So, uh, of course, to that, Trey Songs responded and said, look here, babe. I didn't go nowhere near your ass. He said, we had sex for more than 30 minutes and the door opened up at least two times within that time span. The two girls that did so happened to still be here. I'm happy I saw you and we finally linked up. I hope you aren't trying to pull some fraud-ish on me. Well, bottom line is this girl went to the hospital. Now, the the reports are a little bit... uh, contradictory because in one report it says that well in this text message she says she's on her way home but then it also says that the girl jumped in an uber and the uber driver saw that she was in such distress that he just went ahead instead of taking her home took her to the hospital so songs uh trey songs did say in the text message he thought he was being set up and he stated you know of course that there are some witnesses who can vouch for the sex that went down between the two of them you know the neighbors know his name, okay? Um, and of course, in this sex mes- in this text message, he said, "Yeah, and they're still here, so don't play no games." Um, but she went to the to the hospital, and um, they have some, you know, a copy of the, you know, I guess the medical, the medical bill that she received. But the thing about the medical bill is. There's no coding on it. Where are my coders at? Because there's no coding on there stating 
what type of services were actually rendered. Did they do a rape kit? Did they do, you know, did they draw, uh, you know, a, a panel? You know, what actually happened? It's just the bills, which, you know, like I said in, in the other video, they, they got uh, Kells jammed up for less. And the wrong prosecutor at the right time would, would, would have a field day just with this because this incident happened in March of 2016 and the hospital bills are dated. One is dated for the end of March of 2016. And then this one that you see here was dated like at the very beginning of April. So it says that the woman claims that uh, she went to Trey Song's house to attend a party. At some point during the party, Trey and the woman went back to his bedroom. And when the two got to the room, the woman claims that the two of them engaged in foreplay. But Trey then allegedly got rough with her. And Media Takeout is saying that um, that they learned exclusively that the woman claims that Trey Song, uh, Trey Song's forced her. Uh, into anal sex. And so there you have it. So again, like I said in the other video, you know, listen, I'm not trying to victim shame anyone. Um, you know, and a lot of people are saying, oh, you know, if, if whatever, believe the woman, believe the woman immediately. Okay. I kind of get with that. But then by the same token, I don't. But I, I'll tell you what, the way they did Bill Cosby, the way they're doing R. Kelly, um, these people have an agenda, okay? And so instead of becoming a victim of the agenda, Trey Songs, be proactive. Now, I know like even with Drake, uh, word on the curb is he makes everyone he gets with sign some level of an NDA uh, agreeing to whatever's going to go down. And so, you know, brothers, y'all have to be a little bit wiser um, you just have to, because this stuff, I mean, even if you are innocent, Trey Songs, the money that you're going to spend settling out of court or paying your attorneys, you could be doing something else with the, that money. So you just have to move smarter. And, you know, again, I'm not trying to victim shame, but it's just, it, you know, it's just hard to, it's just very confusing. So, you know, let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know what your thoughts are. Just, you know, is, is Trey Songs, I mean, is this really a pattern? And is this pattern, um, does it make you think that maybe Trey Songs, you know, has an issue with something? Or what are your thoughts? I really want to know. Um, that's it. That is the podcast. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, replay gang. You know what to do. Leave a comment because you know I want to hear from you. And so until next time, we will see you when we see you. Welcome to the Only Mail Cruise Show, the podcast. I am the Only Mail Cruise. Be sure to hit the like button, share, subscribe, replay gang, leave a comment. You know I want to hear from you. Copyright disclaimer regarding fair use is in full effect. The views and opinions expressed in this show, you guessed it, they're all mine. Let's go to work.